Tell you what, sooner than later, I'm going to put me a proper dust collection system in here. I'm sick and tired of shoveling sawdust at the end of the day. Not that it's a big deal, but just one more thing to do. And uh, I'm trying to streamline things here at the sawmill, make things more efficient. So uh, give me your ideas down below, you other guys with sawmills, what kind of uh, dust collection systems you're all running. So on the sawmill, friends, we are going to finish up this cherry log, and my goodness, it is a nice one, I tell you. The next slab is going to be almost 27 inches wide, so I'm getting a little bit wider than I thought. Down here on this other end, though, 25. Not too bad. I thought 24 would be the best we could do. Not too bad. We'll probably get about four more slabs out of this, and this log will be done, and... Uh, Put it on sticks and let it dry. I had somebody in the comments asked if this will go straight into the kiln. It will not. This will air dry for a long time. Probably maybe till this time next year. I'm in no hurry on this stuff, guys. I let it air dry as long as possible. Uh, the kiln, the new L200 Pro kiln, is full of walnut right now. It's about 1,100 board feet. And that walnut's nine quarter, and I saw it actually two years ago. So that kind of shows you how long I wait before I put stuff in the kiln. All right, guys, we will get this done pretty fast here. I'm hoping for about four more slabs out of this log. We've got two cut already. We'll throw some water on it. It should be some pretty good stuff right here. I think I'll take the pith and completely eliminate it from this log and go ahead and find it and cut it out and throw it in the burn pile. I just don't like fooling with it, guys. I don't. I like to just get rid of it. I hate when somebody comes here by slabs and they pull out that slab with the pith in it. You know, I know it's kind of stable. It's in the middle, you know, and stuff like that. But I just hate looking at it. I hate it. Don't like it at all. I think I'll get rid of it. We'll knock this one out pretty fast here, guys. On the sawmill, I'm running a Silver Tip Turbo 7. I get those from Joe Main down in Georgia, guys. If you're interested in those, his information is below. You can call him or email him. Well, once again, friends, I forgot to tell y'all something. Three different things here. Number one, thanks to everybody on Patreon for supporting me here in the channel. Number two, I want to thank everybody who bought the t-shirt with the pocket in it. If you didn't see that, there's a link down below. You can go check that out. We sold a lot of them yesterday, and I really appreciate you guys for buying them. But number three is, I can't tell you yet, but I'll tell you soon enough or you'll probably see it. So without further ado, let's crank up this LT40 wide for the last time. Hang in there with me.
righty, guys, real fast here. I'll cut the sawmill off for just a second. Right there is our first cut. That's a nine quarter slab, free of heart right there. There's no pith in it. And what I did was I came down about another inch and an eighth, and that will completely get rid of the pith right there in the middle. And that will leave us with about three slabs on the bottom. That's an extra cut you're gonna make, but you get rid of that pith, guys. I think it's worth the time just to get rid of it. All right, friends, those that are interested, 27 inches right there. Goodness sakes alive. That is premium cherry, friends. I'll tell you, that is good stuff right there. Hard to beat right there.